hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video my name is Nanadi Sorate if it is your first time here welcome welcome I really do hope you stay and subscribe and join a beautiful growing family okay um, today's video is going to be a how to get the bone sleek straight wig kind of look um, I'm gonna show you guys the secret to getting your lace wigs as straight as possible now it does take a little bit of practice I used to have like closures and wigs where there would be like bumps at the top like it does take a bit of practice but if you do have the right products and you also do have the right tools you just have to master the technique on how to do it so these are my tips and how I was able to learn how to you know get bone straight sleek hair um, I'm impressed with how this one came out if you guys could see how it looked before this like <laughs> I am so impressed like if you guys saw how it looks before this like you would you wouldn't think it's the same way so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I did list all the products in the description box and I'm also going to show you guys the products in the um, in the video so like I mentioned it's all about technique but also about the products that you use so if you want to get your wigs as straight as possible and style them accordingly or you know the way you want them you're gonna have to invest in the right tools as well as the right products they not cheap either <laughs> but some you can get at an affordable price um, that's why I usually go to drugstores such as your Duskim and your Clicks. I know um, Dragon City apparently has like really nice stuff. I actually want to check that out and see how it looks. But otherwise, what's important is that you have to invest in the products to get what you want. The products and the tools to get the results that... Um, you want but honestly with whatever you have there's always a way to tweak I also don't have every single thing that I want um, in terms of hair stuff and hair products and hair tools but it's just about creativity and also getting the right technique um, at hand so yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video um, I walk you through it with a voice over um, I'm also going to show you all the products in the in the video Okay guys, so I got my wig on a mannequin and I'm just going to use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Serum as well as my hair dryer. This is from Safeway and then also this brush. Um, I call it the blow dry brush because honestly it's the perfect brush to use for blow drying your hair. And then I'm also going to use a pin just to make sure that the hair is pinned onto the mannequin head and it doesn't move around or fall off as I apply a lot of pressure while I am straightening it so I'm just gonna brush it all out so um, I call this the follow method so basically you let the hair dryer follow the brush I don't know if that makes sense so wherever the brush goes your blow dryer is then gonna follow that just to make sure that it gets onto every single strand of the hair and straightens it nicely you guys will see the difference towards the end more or less when I'm done um, blow drying the hair As you guys can see there is a difference between that right side and then the left side so the left side is more 
frizzy and it's not very refined and straight and then the other side is nice and straight i honestly recommend this brush i got it from Discam. oh no sorry from clicks actually it was from clicks honestly the best for straightening your hair it's better than just a normal comb um as you guys can see like literally one as i went the first time it was quite straight and then i went in the second time again so then i'm gonna straighten the top part of the wig after straightening the back part so this is the most important part because this is what everybody sees when they look at you <laughs> i kid you not so make sure that it's nice and straight and you take your time with it the best tool to use for it is definitely a hot comb but you'll see now when i go in with it and then finally i'm just going to switch over to the other comb this one is more defined and thinner so i use that while i straighten my hair and then i'm using this common straightener i said my hair i meant the wig <laughs> so i'm going to use the serum i actually used a lot you don't want to use a lot of serum otherwise it makes the hair quite stiff and you don't want a lot of product build up so here again i'm going to go with the follow method so you literally just comb with the comb the rattle comb and then you follow with the straightener as you guys can see it's nice and silky compared to the other side it's nice and straight and yeah it's giving silk it's giving silk press <laughs> situation so yeah i'm still gonna go and repeat it again it's so important to work in sections please section your hair it makes all the difference in the world compared to um doing your hair in big chunks it's just not gonna be the same effect as you guys can see it's nice and straight and silky and juicy and all that nice stuff this is so therapeutic or aesthetically pleasing i don't know like it's just it's giving it's nice to look at <laughs> so i'm just going to repeat that with another section so i'm sectioning it again to make sure that i get the next part of hair and i'm trying my best to work in small sections so so that it's not like really really big chunks as that is just overwhelming and it's not going to be the same effect and it's not, honestly not going to be the same results so i'm just going to repeat that until i'm done with the, the whole head okay so as you guys can see now it's nice and straight and silky it's also very bouncy so it's not the same as when we started when it was very very stiff so now i'm going to move over to the front section to make it even more flat um oh guys look at that i'm so impressed okay <laughs> okay so now we're gonna move on to the front section of the hair and we're gonna move over to the um, hot comb so i prefer to use the hot comb on the front and not on, on other parts of the hair so i pair it usually with the wax stick from ikt and i purchased this from take a lot it helps to you know tame the flyaways and also just to get it as flat as possible um so yeah i'll just go in with the wax stick and then follow immediately with the um, hot comb And there you 
have it guys the hair is looking nice and flat i love it so much i'm really really sorry about the lighting um i couldn't use my ring light but anyway as you guys can see now i have already installed the hair most of the work takes place on the mannequin so now it's just like touch-ups and then just ensuring that it goes with my head shape because obviously the head of the mannequin is not the same as my head so i'm just making sure that the front is flat according to my head shape i actually burnt myself quite a lot i'm not gonna lie um that's why it's so much easier to just do it on a wig head instead of like you know your own head that's my personal opinion but either way as long as you're able to do it and get it done then that's good you guys will see i'm literally gonna burn my fingers a little it's not nice i've also burned myself with a hot comb quite a few times mm, I, I, honestly i don't i don't wish that on anyone <laughs> see happened Another secret to getting the front flat is going in sections as you use a hot comb and straighten the front part instead of just straightening a big chunk. It's honestly difficult and also I burnt my ear. There you go again. It takes practice. It takes experience, I guess. But honestly, like with a hot comb, you just never know. But yeah, I definitely advise working in sections. If you don't want to burn your ear, just cover it a little bit with the other finger and ensure that you follow and move slowly so that you don't make a mistake guys hot comb is hot okay but yeah rather work in sections than big chunks just to make sure that it's nice and straight and flat and sleek and juicy and nice everything you know the vibes So now I'm just doing the final touches, you guys. Um, it's nice and flat, and I'm happy with how it came out. You guys can just sit back and enjoy it and watch as I do, you know, the final touches. But most of the work, like I mentioned, was on the mannequin head or the wig head. Um, everything else was just touched up and installed on my head. You guys can check out my TikTok where I did the installation on a video. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you guys in my next one.
Okay guys, so we've come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you saw me do all of the jibs and jabs. I got burnt a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Quite a few times. I mean, beauty is pain, isn't it? I really did get burnt a few times. But luckily, um, yeah, I knew I would expect a bit of that. It gets, like, the more you practice or the more you do it, the better you get at it and the less mistakes you'll make such as burning yourself like i remember burning myself with a hot comb the first time right here <laughs> so with time it just it gets better so it's just about practice and technique and as well as the product so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you are interested in these kind of videos then do let me know because i have more coming if that's something you're interested in then subscribe okay if you're not subscribed what are you doing you're gonna miss content okay subscribe oh wait <laughs> it's the red button bottom left corner or bottom right corner your right my left thank you <laughs> anyway guys um hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much bye